Hey guys, so it's your boy Yashvi Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, please like the video, share the video, and hit that subscribe button. Okay. So without any further ado, let's dive. Let's dive straight into this. Okay. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna add Epic Games already install games in Epic Games. Okay. So yeah, let's. Um, all right. So basically my location is this okay i have uh let me go to this pc as you see i have an ssd right here so i i currently have epic games folder right here with fortnite uh here's my other games uh these are the gta5 folder let's see i rename this i add uh old like this all right so this epic games folder must be empty all right it must uh the directory must uh you must not move this folder yet all right then what you want to do you want to double click this epic games launcher run epic games launcher all right click library uh, and find the game that you wish to uh install okay so i would like to install this uh gta5 so this is the location all right so i'm gonna choose my ssd and then Epic Games, I'm gonna select folder. Right here, I'm gonna click install. Okay, and right as it it is being installing, as you can see right here, you gotta wait for at least one percent. Okay, one percentage. And then all all you wanna do is click pause, and then cancel, and then close out of this. Okay, now what you wanna do? You wanna copy or cut this. Okay, so I'm gonna copy uh, and then I'm gonna hit paste. All right. Okay, now depending on uh, how much uh, RAM, okay, how much RAM you've got, okay, is this gonna be a little faster for you or not? Okay, as you see, I have like, uh, where's my memory? Yeah, I have like 32 gigs of 6000 DDR5 memory, so it's going faster for me even this thing is about uh 69 gb six okay yeah so it will depend on the on your processor and on your ram all right and if whether you're copying but you can as well cut and paste okay you can as well cut and paste is this gonna be much faster than copying okay All right, so as soon as it finished, what you wanna do, you wanna click this, this right here, you wanna delete this folder, then you wanna rename this one, and then you wanna go back to, you wanna click this, show hidden icons, uh, double click on Epic Games Launcher, and right there, you wanna go to your library, you're gonna see resume or install button, okay? You're gonna see this install button, so just click it. Let's say you don't see a resume button, but you you see install. Okay, just click it, click install. All right. So now it's not gonna be uh, downloading. It it will verify instead of download. Okay. You won't see in guys. Listen to me carefully. In this latest version of Epic Games Launcher, you won't see a resume button anymore. You will see install. So all you have to do is to just click that install button and it will start verification, okay? It will start verifying the game instead of downloading the whole game. All right, now it depends whether if the game uh, did not uh, update, okay? Let's say this game is brand new game. It's already updated, all right? So this is how you do it, all right? So now I'm going to now you can go to your games okay right here i'm gonna delete this folder because it's gonna take a chunk of space all right so i'm gonna do uh, for another game okay i'm gonna do for another game all right watch carefully how i do for another game so that you can uh, get a more uh view about it okay so i'm gonna install this one the witcher uh the witcher 3 whatever okay all right, so here's the whole game, okay? The game 
is 84 GB. So Witcher 3 is 84.1 GB and it is it is not in the Epic Games folder. I've moved it into another folder. All right. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to click install right here. I'm going to choose the location. Make sure that the location is Epic Games. All right. Select the folder. Click install. All right. Next. Wait for this to get like uh, 90 MB, uh, 100 MB or whatever. Okay. Like this. 100 maybe 120 MBs, then click pause, cancel. Now close this. Now go to Epic Games. All right. You're going to see the Witcher 3 folder. Just uh, no. first we're going to go to this game. I'm going to cut the this. I'm going to cut the Witcher 3 underscore old. OK, cut and then go to Epic Games. Paste this right here. OK, as I as I paste. It did not take whatever RAM to copy, whatever. So as you see, cut and paste works more faster. Then what you wanna do, this is the original folder, right? So you wanna delete this, the Witcher 3. So you're gonna re, uh, rename this and remove the old. Remove the underscore old. Rename it back to the original name. Now you're gonna click this. You are double click Epic Games Launcher, it should open like this. Go back to your library and you're gonna find okay. All right, you won't see okay, you won't see resume button, but instead you will see install button. So just click it, all right, and click install. Okay, so once you click install, right here, as, as you see, guys, it did not download. It did not download, but instead it started verification. Okay, it started verifying, and this verif verification is going a, a whole lot hell faster. Okay, and voila, in seconds, boom. All right, in seconds, I can just now click launch and it will launch the game. And as you can see on my desktop, Fortnite, uh, GTA 5, and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. While hunt the their desktop shortcut has been added. Okay, yeah. So I hope this tool was helpful, guys. So this is how we do this. All right, and watch my date and time. All right. So this video is not fake. We are currently Friday, first March two thousand twenty-four, and this video freaking works. Okay, it works beautifully. All right. If you follow the video to the letter, all right. If you follow the video to the letter, this will definitely works for you. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you appreciate this video. And if you did, just press on the thumbs up. Okay. Click the like button on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button, ring that bell notification for staying tuned for my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys.